Welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We're heading straight to a second conversation and this morning is a security concern or concern. Following the height of killings for ritual purposes across the 36 states of the Federation, including the Federal Capital Territory, the House of Representatives has declared the this issue as a national emergency on the increasing spate of ritual killings uh, in the country. Now, the motion was actually moved and the House of Representatives have asked the Inspector General of Police to bring to book all those involved in the act and mandate the Nigerian Film and Video Censor Board to increase monitoring of videos produce with ritual killings content and ensure implementation as well. Now, and this has been a lot of talk. They've also charged, you know, the executive arm of government, I mean, the federal government as well, to also um, make some declaration, treat this as a national emergency. And this morning we have a guest joining us, Yahuze Getso, who is a security expert. It's good to have you join us this morning, Yahuze Getso. Thank you, viewers. All right. So, but let's get to this. What does this mean? Uh, does this mean that we're going to be asking for new laws to be created? Because if you look at the criminal code, section 300 to 329, uh, you find that, that this provision of the law makes caters for uh, the preservation of life. And so, what does this really mean now? Well, um, I think it is uh, uh, very, very clear <clears throat> that... Uh, uh, you know, in Nigeria, we have a lot of uh, duplication of laws. Um, I think if at all the government is serious, if Buhari administration and the National Assembly are serious, what they're supposed to do is to start dealing with situation decisively according to the what we have as a law, uh, so that it will serve as a deterrence for others not to be part to to, to, to be part of what is happening. So, it is sincerely uh, making a commitment. Because for the issue to be tabled before the National Assembly, it means that there is some level of commitment from the legislative of, legislative of, of, of government uh, that they are ready to come up with a strategy uh, to, to bring an end to the situation. But nevertheless, uh, I, don't see, I don't see any reason for duplicating or for bringing another law. Why can't we utilize the law that we have uh, 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 in order to bring those who were found wanting to face the wrath of the law. So it is unless and until we are ready to do that, that is how we can be able to improve the circumstance and then reduce the number of ritual killings across the, the all parts of the country. You find initially it was a traditional, traditionally motivated, but it is now religiously motivated. Religiously in the sense there are some of the so-called Islamic scholars or so-called Christian scholars who are, who are hiding uh, at, the, at the back of the religion uh, toward attaining their own goal, uh, uh, for the, uh, 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 probably as a result of those who uh, used to go to them for complaint or for certain things. It happens in all the locations in the, uh, in the Federation, but yet we have not seen anybody that has been brought to face the wrath of the law so that that could serve as a deterrence for others to not to be party to to, to do so. Okay, uh, Mr. Getsu, uh, um, the, the National Assembly is um, uh, calling on the Nigerian Film and Video Censors Board to increase the uh, monitoring of videos, uh, producing ritual content, killing content, and ensure that such contents are deleted in line with its mandate. Uh, is, is it down to the, you know, this increase in, in ritual killing and incidents of such nature? Is it down to what we see in the movies? Is that, is that it? Well, the call is timely, uh, but I think it didn't stop at what we see in the movie. Because now, if they ask that uh, more of the uh, uh, monitoring strategy to be used using the CCTV, uh, uh, you know, no Nigerian will have confidence and will accept that. Because ordinarily, the, crime, the crimes being conducted in the major cities of, of, the, of the Federation, that is, if you take, for example, as a pilot, Abuja, Potapot, Lagos, and probably Kano, or Aba or Odisha, the government have not been able to mount strategic CCTVs or any monitoring tracking device that could have been used in monitoring even the ordinary crimes that are being conducted on the street. Most of the ritual killings doesn't happen on the street. It happens either in most cases in the uncompleted building, 
in the hideouts, in the hotels. Mostly it happens in the inner places where you may not even have a kind of a systematic strategy that you can use a CCTV in tracking and monitoring such. So I think I disagree with uh, um, the National Assembly for calling for, for whatever authority, uh, either the uh, uh, censorship, censorship board or whatever, to, to introduce it. That is just going to be a waste of the resources. We have seen the number of um, CCTVs that have been mounted in Abuja. Even I want to confirm to you, I found to you that even some of the CCTVs in the, in the presidential villa are not working. Mm. So how do you expect government to have the resources and to have the sincerity and honesty and to have the sincerity in purpose if at all they want to do something to ex by extension of striking the ritual killing? I don't think that is possible. But what is the best way to, to do is those who are found wanting by law, uh, by, 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 by court of law, uh, to, be, to, to allow them to, be, to face the wrath of the law so that could serve as a deterrent. Mm. That should be the immediate and the, the best measure to introduce for the first time before we go systematically and strategically uh, for introducing either the CCTV or whatever device, the okay. technological device that may be used. Mm. Otherwise, the hotels in the advanced communities where there is uh, light and other things yeah. should be given a kind of um, uh, a, a, a encouragement for them to, to provide CCTVs that can track some of the suspicious activities of those ritual uh, killers so, so that they can be fished out and then they can be tracked either through their rooms or through other movements. Okay, so we, we, ha we have to go, uh, Mr. Getsu, but very quickly, are you confident that uh, there is a political will to tackle this issue, um, bearing in mind uh, we've seen in recent years, and I, I say this on account of what I've heard people say, um, that we see a, a spike in ritual um, uh, killings or suspected racial killings during election period, if you know what I mean. Um, do you yeah. think that we have the political will to solve this problem? Well, uh, like I made mention earlier, very, very most quickly. of those who, yeah, I, I, don't think, I don't think we have that. I, I'm, I, I re, I'm really a doctor that if we, if we can do that. Uh, okay. Because most of the politicians are found at the forefront, politicians and some of the business tycoons are found at the forefront and some of the youth that wanted to get a certain resources uh, at a, a very short period of time, like this Yahoo, Yahoo guys and others. So I don't think we have the political will. I am doubtful if at all we, we have the political and administrative will mm. that we all can right. attend achieve anything between now and the election period. Okay, we, we have to go. We want to thank you very much for your time. Yeah, also get so a security expert. He's been our guest on um, the second uh, uh, part of this uh, discussion right here on The Breakfast. Yeah, also get so thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having me. Thank you, viewers. All right. All right. All right. Uh, it's a very, very, uh, a very, very worrying issue, um, and he's like he said, he doesn't think we have the political will um, to tackle this because the politicians, he said, uh, also may be a <laughs> part of the problem. No, but but you know, Kofi, just as we move away immediately, it's also important to understand why we're trying to classify these killings. I mean, mother is mother, and the Lord, the laws within. I, I, we made reference to the criminal code, the Nigerian criminal code and all of this loss. They are lost that cater for killings. And so when we begin to try to classify all of these killings, then it means that we're trying to create more laws. But that's the much that we can take at this point. In case you miss out on any part of the conversation, uh, do well to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And subscribe to YouTube channels at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Book. We'll have a fantastic day. And my name is Kofi Bartels. We'll return tomorrow. Good morning.